Good afternoon. Um, Michael asked me to say a few words, but today really the event is about uh, Meritus as well as uh, Fantasy Island. So perhaps I share with you um, the view from the architect. Um, though perhaps uh, the lady has um, mentioned some of the projects that we've done, mm -hmm. but each project we took, we have taken on, we always look at it with a sort of like fresh eye. And like Michael, we were really impressed with this untouched and seemingly out of this world kind of like um, landscaping. You know, sort of like completely natural when we were first went to the site. And um, this become kind of like a challenge, a challenge that is different from the usual ones that we deal with on the urban context. Um, the challenge is that the architecture form perhaps is not as important as how you balance the existing landscaping with a new erected building, for example. Or perhaps uh, the more important thing is to get the buildings uh, disappear in the landscape if we can. If you imagine kind of like um, old Chinese uh, painting or even 7th century um, neoclassical Western painting, architecture really is not that important. It's a landscaping that actually impress you. So when we uh, embark on this project, uh, with the understanding of Pate as well as Michael, we reduce and reduce the number of villas and buildings uh, on the island. And also, we record, together with our landscape designer, Chris. Chris has got a really uh, good experience working with MPAC for many years. With his team, expert in uh, tropical plants, we record all the species, all the important plants to be retained. And then the architecture can happen, not the other way around. And um, for me and my team, it's such a good learning process because by the end of the day, um, urban people like us, we have forgotten usually to respect nature. So this one, this project, uh, let us go back to the balancing between man-made and nature. So that is our first priority. Now, second priority is that, well, all the slides that have been flashing uh, before your eyes are the, uh, the, the aqua villas, the villas on the hill and all that. I, I shan't go into details, but what I want to point out is that the, not to forget, uh, the physical form of architecture, in fact, um, encompasses as well as um, uh, envelope, something that is intangible as well as invisible, such as the sun direction, whether you get the sunlight, uh, natural wind, whether you get the natural breeze, and I hope whoever who, who has bought the villas will try not to turn on the aircon <laughs> because we are so used to air conditioning. And uh, I practice that myself because um, um, in, in my office, both in my office and my house, a traditional Pranakan house, or two Pranakan houses, um, I learned so much from it because in the past, when we don't have air conditioning, uh, natural breeze will take away the heat, will take away the humidity, and you feel, when you need to sweat, you just sweat, you know, you feel so comfortable about it. So we aim to do that. So all this consideration that is kind of like intangible is all included in the design of the architecture. Now then, third point perhaps um, is a sort of like at the back of the mind as an architect, we always kind of like worry about, probably that's the reason why, as Michael say, my haircut become more like Bruce Willis. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, we, 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 we do worry that um, we have to remind ourselves not to destroy the existing ground, number one, that we are trying to do, not to destroy it, with a team of uh, uh, good 
consultants such as uh, Ecom and all that, with all the um, uh, services all hide nicely, and all the uh, sort of like waste can be taken away without you even noticing it. Number two is that creating a building is like giving birth to a baby. First of all, you have a client that assign you to do that. And then after that, that's just a beginning. After that, who is going to look after it? Who is going to maintain it? Like what Michael said, is constantly in the back of our mind. Because if architecture, a piece of good architecture to stay 10 years, 15 years, 50 years, you will have to have a good team of people to look after it to look after it with tender loving care. So, after many rounds of discussion, I'm sure, and finally today, that Meritus, Meritus is looking after this, or uh, signing the contract with Fantasy Island, I can gladly say that worry of mine has been taken away. So thank you very much.